For any mission off planet, the most visible moment is launch. And the start of Artemis 1 will be an earth-shaking, chest-pumping moment unlike anything experienced in half a century. This is a story 50 years in the making. A story of relearning the lessons of those who pioneered a path to the moon and pairing them with all that we've learned since. This is a story of proving new systems and new capabilities with the generation of dreamers that are charting their own course. And yet this powerful display of physics is just the beginning of a mission that will last weeks and take a human-rated spacecraft farther than one has ever been before. From the Earth to the Moon, and safely back again, this is the mission profile of Artemis 1. Once our spacecraft has reached orbit around the Earth, teams at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston remotely check all of the spacecraft systems to ensure it is ready to head to the moon. With a go from every team on the ground, Artemis 1 is cleared to start the upper stage engine at a very precise moment. This burn accelerates Orion, pushing it out away from Earth. This critical action starts the week-long journey of 250,000 miles to the moon. Having completed its push, our spacecraft separates from the upper stage. It is only now, at this point, that the efforts of the SLS rocket are fully complete. From here forward, Orion is on its own, sprinting across the void between Earth and the moon. Fifty years ago, each of the Apollo missions entered a low lunar orbit and landed on the side of the moon that always faces Earth. This mission does not include a landing on the moon, but it will prove nearly every other aspect of an Artemis mission to the moon. For Artemis 1, Orion will pass by the moon just 60 nautical miles from its surface and enter a distant retrograde orbit. Distant because the farthest end of the orbit is 38,000 nautical miles away from the surface of the moon. On its final lap around the moon, when it's time to start the journey back to Earth, Orion once again fires up its engines and slingshots itself back towards Earth. Experiencing one final mesmerizing Earth rise, Orion leaps out of lunar orbit and transits back towards Earth. Over the course of a week, Orion continually accelerates as the pull of Earth's gravity becomes the strongest force acting on the spacecraft, effectively pulling it home. As Orion nears Earth, the service module is released and the crew module orients so that the heat shield is facing forward. Orion hits the Earth's atmosphere traveling at over 24,500 miles per hour. The air itself acts as a brake, slowing down Orion to 300 miles per hour, a speed safe enough to deploy parachutes that further slow Orion to a gentle 15 miles per hour for a splashdown. This is the culmination of efforts by hundreds of thousands from around the world to usher in a new era of lunar exploration. And this is the mission of Artemis One.